right there. I wanted to, okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about safety and and uh, it's a good idea to wear gloves when you work with stiff. And and uh, you can see these gloves are a little bit of uh, thumb coming through, knuckle there, the holes there. So. I've been tending to uh, shy away a lot from metal working recently, mainly because I've found that the metal dust, my body seems to uh, be highly allergic to it, or it just seems to really screw me up. So what I found is if you are ever going to do any kind of grinding, anywhere you're going to be, lots of metal dust will be present. Get a respirator, get the full type, not a particle mask, not an RZ mask. Get yourself actually one of these so you know you have a true filtered experience and um, that seems to help me and making me enjoy working on doing some metalworking again. I immediately realized I needed to rethink my uh, idea of just bending it. I just made a nice clean cut. What I'll do is I'll get my arm pieces and I'm going to put this into the bed of my truck and then I can put the arm up the length that once it used to be the under past six feet and then I can mark my angle right on the steel and then I'll just chop this end off to meet that profile and then I'll just weld it to it and not worry about the beauty of a nice rounded corner. We got the uh, first part of our bent arm put on. As you saw me struggling putting this part together. So I'll give you a quick overview of how this is going to work since um, unfortunately he wants the arm or the riser part to be removable. And I really don't like that idea because then that adds 
a little bit of flexion in there, and I was going to build out a brace that came up, and this would be basically solid under the rock, other than where it goes into here. So we'll see how that works. Um, but I'll show you how this, basically I've got some sleeves that will fit over, and how this will be is, I'm going to be shortening these down, obviously, that's what I'm going to try to figure out now, is how much, where I want to shorten as to where, how far down I want this to go. So you'll have your other, your riser, and it'll be welded on, and then you basically just slide it on, the bottom's out, and then um, I'm going to drill a couple holes, and we'll just put some pins in there, so that way he just falls out, take it, put it in the back of a truck that might have a camper shell, because this is going to stick up so high that while it will fit within a six foot bed of a pickup truck, the arm is going to probably be past the tailgate or up high enough that if you had a camper shell, it would probably hit the glass door.